I'll try not to get emotional um, because I know that crying can make us look weak sometimes, right? <laughs> Do you all remember Lecterngate? We spoke about it here before, but there is an update. Here's a quick refresher. Last year, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders purchased a lectern or a podium for a whopping $19,000 from Beckett Events LLC. At the time the purchase was discovered, it was suspected that the lectern was purchased as a cover-up and that the money was actually used to pay for Sanders' travel expenses for nothing work-related, by the way. Arkansas state auditors had been investigating the purchase in regards to whether or not it was illegally purchased, and they've just completed their investigation. They found that the purchase potentially violated state laws, and their report has been turned over to prosecutors. At the time the purchase was discovered, the cost of the lectern was called into question. Matthew Campbell, a lawyer, noticed the purchase and filed a public records request to find out more about it. Three months after the purchase and days after the public records request was filed, the Arkansas Republican Party reimbursed the state for the lectern. Then, a whistleblower claimed that the governor's office had wrongfully altered and withheld information related to the purchase, with a staff member attaching a handwritten note on two of the three invoices reading, quote, to be reimbursed. Prior to the public records request, auditors could not find any official records seeking reimbursement from the governor's office. The lectern ultimately cost nearly twice as much as what was originally quoted to the governor's office, but the increase in price was allegedly due to the customizations that Sanders had requested and a $2,500 consulting fee. At first, the governor's staff told auditors that the $10,000 to $15,000 quote was the only quote they had received, but Auditors later found that the office had received quotes for as low as $800 to $1,500. But how she purchased it in the first place was also unusual. Sanders' assistant facilitated the purchase using a payment method that falls out of scope of normal state audits, putting the purchase on a state-issued credit card. Her office would later call the use of that credit card an accounting error. Every time Sarah steps up to the podium, I get excited because I'm not really sure what we're going to get. You know, a press briefing, a bunch of lies, or divided into softball teams. It's shirts and skins, and this time don't be such a little bitch, Jim Acosta! Also, the podium was improperly listed as computer equipment, and it was improperly accounted for as an operating expense. Additionally, the delivery notice of the lectern was shredded. The relevant state agency was not notified of the purchase at the time it was made, and there were three separate and conflicting invoices from three different vendors for the purchase. Since the Arkansas Republican Party issued a check for the purchase amount, Sanders' office is now trying to claim that the purchase was made lawfully and that, quote, the state was fully reimbursed with private funds for the podium at no cost to the taxpayers. Of course, the reimbursement request was only made after the public records request was made, so presumably the initial intention was to use public funds for the purchase. While the misuse of public funds by elected or government officials isn't anything new, it certainly shouldn't go unchecked. However, Sanders might get away with this one. The Arkansas State Attorney General practically said as much when he said that the state purchasing laws do not apply to governors. He claimed that they only apply to state agencies, not executive offices. Sanders' office also denies any wrongdoing, stating that the report is deeply flawed and, ironically, a, quote, waste of taxpayer resources and time. But perhaps the strangest part of this whole saga is the post that Sanders made on X related to this quote-unquote lectern gate. She posted a video of the podium with a graphic at the end saying, come and take it, a phrase appropriated from gun advocates. The amount of time government officials spend defending themselves is indeed a waste of taxpayer resources and time, and this is particularly strongly felt now as we all, hopefully, just paid our taxes. And not to be too pessimistic, but the fact that evidence is mounted against Sanders and her office is apparently irrelevant because our government institutions have become so entrenched in corruption and collusion that it's clear the state attorney general will do what he can to protect Sanders and her expensive podium. And when you hear stories like this, and obviously there are much, much more egregious misuses of tax dollars at the state and federal levels, it's no wonder that no one likes paying their taxes. Apart from the obvious money leaving your pocket, it'd at least be tolerable if you saw that money being put towards things that the people actually would like to fund. And we know what those things are because we still technically live in a democracy. 
Unfortunately, with state, local, and federal governments gridlocked by one thing or another, the will of the people is often begrudgingly enacted, if and when it ever is actually enacted. Great. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.